Hey there, happy hump day. Hope everyone's had a good day so far. I thought I would just jump on and have a chat to you and give you my five top tips for women that are over 40 that are trying to lose weight around that midsection. It definitely does get more challenging as you get older, mainly because our muscle mass starts to deteriorate. Um, and also we've got hormonal changes. So we're a little bit like an opposite puberty um, because we're at that perimenopausal age and it definitely does get much more challenging, but it's not impossible. So my five top tips are to include strength training. This is not gonna make you bulky, ladies, okay? So we wanna make sure that we're at least doing strength training three days a week. I also like to do some HIIT training as well, but if HIIT's not your thing, if you've got knee injuries or some sort of like back injuries or any type of injuries and you don't like doing the high intensity type of training, then just make sure that you do 10,000 steps per day. This is really going to help. Okay, so movement is super, super helpful. We need to make sure that we're including that. Um, now, another thing, there's a lot of research suggesting that lowering your carb intake is super beneficial. Now, this doesn't mean that you're not having any carbs. It just means that we're going to have a lowish carb diet. Okay, so I still recommend actually having some carbs at dinner time because it actually helps satiate you and helps you sleep a lot better. So it keeps you a little bit fuller and helps you sleep. Now, another thing that I highly recommend is to cut down on your sugar intake. Um, as even fruits, even certain fruits can spike it. So your bananas and what have you, and especially don't have that after dinner. So if you're really wanting some fruit after dinner, make sure you stick to your berries. This is gonna help you a lot. Um, we don't wanna be eating dates or anything like that, especially around dinner time. It's all right to have some of that in the morning but I wouldn't be having that after dinner. You're actually got less sugar in like in some dark chocolate. So you can actually have a couple of little pieces of dark chocolate. Um, the, the fourth one would be um, to make sure that you get your sleep, okay? So we wanna make sure that we're having seven to nine hours sleep, okay, ladies? A lot of the ladies at this age, they have a lot of stuff going on and they don't have, get their seven to nine hours. This is super important to make sure that you are getting your sleep. And the fifth one, which is important, and a lot of the ladies, I know they love it and aren't gonna wanna hear it, is to reduce your alcohol. Really minimize your alcohol. You, you don't wanna be drinking, especially during the week. You might think that it helps you sleep, but when in fact, it just, makes you unconscious, okay? So we wanna make sure that we really minimize that alcohol. It doesn't mean that you can't ever have a drink, like you can have a couple on the weekend, and look, of course, now and then we all have a blowout, but we just don't wanna be drinking every day, and I really recommend don't drink more than once a week. Even once a week, a lot of the studies are saying that you shouldn't even be doing that, but I understand that we all enjoy our wine. I do as well, but I generally try to keep it to two, okay? Unless it's like a big celebration, like a wedding or some sort of party or something like that. And that's not even for every occasion either. All right, guys, I hope that helped. Take care. Um, if you're looking for some more advice, give me a shout out. Um, just DM me and I would love to give you some advice on how to help you reduce that middle age spread. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Bye.